What is going on, everybody? Good morning. We got some stuff to do today. I did some stuff last night and I filmed it, but it was kind of a flop, so I'm not even going to post that, but I will tell you what I did. What I did was <clears throat> I got some double-sided tape in um, like two days ago because like about a week ago, Mochi's thermostat was acting goofy. So I looked underneath the cage and the heat tape had like fallen down. And these cages are PVC. So the tops of them, you know, nice and, and smooth. Tape would stick to that fine. But underneath of them is not nice and smooth. Because they grind it down. So that way um, the heat tape can be closer to the surface where the snake's laying. If that makes sense. So... The tape I had on there, I guess because it's like, grind it down, it's kind of rough. It just wasn't holding right. So I ordered some double-sided tape. So I'm going to put double-sided tape on the heat tape. And then aluminum tape around it like I have now. And hopefully, the, I don't know, hopefully that does something different. Um, also going to move his cage over there. On top of Slinky and Nipsey's cage. Um, but yesterday I did it with Muffin's cage because I looked underneath the cage and it looked like her heat tape was sagging. So I took everything off of it. I disconnected Slinky and Nipsey's enclosure, took that down. Um, Muffin's cage, is, it's not heavy. It's the PVC. It's pretty light, but it's just awkward to flip over. Flip that over and there was nothing wrong with it. But I wasn't, usually I'd been like yelling cussing mess but I wasn't because I also I wanted to trim like six or seven inches off of her heat tape anyway so I just took the opportunity to do that I I would have I'd have put money on it that her cage also was grinded out underneath but it just has a little grinded slot for the thermostat I don't know I was tripping but we are going to do Mochi's cage because I know his is like that and I'm also going to change out his bedding I got the Repta uh, Repta Bark a couple weeks ago, um, his bedding's clean. There's nothing wrong with his cage. I just cleaned it not long ago. But I want to, this cypress bedding, when I put it in here, I talked about it before, like the glass for like a week is just covered in condensation. I think it's a little too humid. So I'm going to try to rep to bark, see what that does. And uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it, man. Got some friends coming over later. So wrap this up and get my day going. Another thing I'm kind of hoping with this Repta Bark, I mean, this Cypress Mall just gets so dusty. It's like a pain to clean up, so I'm hoping the Repta Bark won't be as dusty. And if it isn't, we'll try it out on Nipsey and um, Slinky's cage, too. But I don't know, man. And like earlier, I mentioned like being profitable off this. Obviously, I don't keep these guys for profit. I just enjoy doing it. But... Man, I, I work. I work hard, and I don't make much money. So if I could make the same amount of money down the road doing something I love, that's basically the end goal. Not like getting rich, but just being able to do what you love and make money, man. That's, that's what's important in life, and I wish I'd have uh, clicked in my head when I was younger, but it didn't because I hard-headed always have been most likely always will be and if I don't make money whatever I'm still gonna do this that's why I decided to start making these videos cuz like I gotta take care of these guys anyway I figured I'd share it with you guys at home who maybe don't have have all this stuff you know maybe you don't have it and you want it or maybe you don't want it you just like to to see it so I made these videos. But I flip this cage over. See what I'm saying? This freaking thing. Yeah, see 
see how easy that comes off, man. Garbage. Garbage. Not what we want. This is what I'm talking about. This is the heat tape, by the way. Which this piece is obviously kind of big. But I think I'm I mean I'm gonna have to rock out with it. This I don't think you can cut this kind. But I got some extra trimmings of this other kind. This is another kind. This one you can cut. You just cut it along the white line. And these are trimmings of other ones I've done. So I can cut this. Just got to buy some connect a connector kit and uh, fix this now. And then I'll I'll do that later. I'll go on Reptile Basics, order a connector kit. Um, good thing about his cage, it's easy to flip over. It's not a big deal. The only one that's a big deal is Muffin. Her cage is a pain in the butt to flip over. Plus, I got stuff on top of it. So I got to take all that down in order to flip her cage over, which is kind of a, kind of a hassle. But this is what I mean, man. It's like, it's rough. And they got this, this is cut out here to put the probe in. And then this is for the tape. And it, like I said, it just brings the tape a little bit closer to where the snake's going to be laying on the inside. But it's just, I don't know, not that great for holding tape. So I'm not going to film doing it. I'll probably do like a time lapse or something, see so whatever. But I'm going to remove all this aluminum tape off of here. Get the double sided tape, hook this bad boy up, and then we're gonna move it over there, and that's gonna be it, man. Then I'm gonna clean up in here. It's a mess right now. I gotta reorganize because I've been moving stuff around, and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna look good over there. His cage, it's gonna be sick. It's lit, fam. That's what the kids are saying these days. It's lit. All right, so I was gonna time lapse all that, but nobody really cares, so I didn't. So this is where the thermostat probe goes. The reason I got so much tape here is because of the issue I was having before. I'm trying to avoid that, so I overlapped it. Hopefully that helps, I don't know. And I put the double-sided tape on here. So that's gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna put aluminum tape around it. And hopefully with the double-sided tape and the aluminum tape, it stays on. So let me get that wrapped up. I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll put his cage in the new spot. All right. So we got the aluminum tape. The double sided tape is in here. Just give it a good press down. And that's it. It's basically what it looks like. Got these coasters on here to lift it up some. I might. I don't know. I think I might get, I got a whole bunch of them. I don't know, I'll see what it looks like first. And if I got to add some coasters, I will. But we're going to put it right over there on top of that. All right, so we got Mochi set up. Then it looks pretty good. Reason I left that gap right there is because that switch is how I unplug Muffin's light. So. I just need to be able to get back there. If I put it all the way over, it was a little too high. And then, like I said, Annabelle's new cage is going to go right there. I'll probably sell that cage and then work on more black PVC. Build stuff up there. It's going to be tight. But that's it, guys. A little heat tape action for you. Just showing you how I do that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go clean up organize this room a little bit but thanks for watching thanks for hanging out with me remember do something you love man it's good for the soul peace